My name is Jason Shaikowski and I'm the Principal Engineer for Public Works in the City of Roseville. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Roller Compacted Concrete, or RCC. Now, Roller Compacted Concrete has been around for about, uh, since the 40s. It was uh, originally used by the Army Corps for landing field strips. It was also used in the lumber industry. But in the past 10 to 15 years, it's really become um, used in roadway projects. Because it's our first uh, attempt at using roller compacted concrete in the city of Roseville, it's really a pilot project um, that we're hoping to demonstrate to our council, our citizens, and the development community that this product not only saves money, which we've already proven through the bidding process, but it looks good and people like it. Uh, our goal is really that the development community will adopt this type of paving um, in the new development, so new roads, because concrete lasts so much longer than asphalt, uh, we can go 20 to 25 years without maintaining the new roads. Whereas right now, if they put in an asphalt road, seven years later, we need to go out and uh, do some resurfacing. We actually just bid this project, um, and it saved us a million dollars versus using hot mix asphalt. Um, this is a $7.9 million project. We saved about 20% on the reconstruction costs of the project just by going with roller compacted concrete. So it's saving money. On top of that, we expect about a 30% uh, savings in maintenance costs over the 50-year uh, lifespan. Well, some of the benefits of roller compacted concrete uh, include that it's light, it's light color. So the light color reduces the heat island effect associated with dark pavement. So it's a lot cooler. It's cooler on your feet, your animals' feet. It makes your neighborhood a little cooler. And it's um, brighter. So at nighttime, headlights reflect off of it better. It's more of a contrast when the pets are running across the street or, or you're crossing a street so that you show up more. Consultant for this project is Bennett Engineering. They've been working with us for probably three years or more now. Uh, we've been working on this project since 2014. It's the first RCC project in Roseville, the, the largest scale RCC project in Northern California. The gas tax wasn't providing enough funding to maintain the city streets as they, uh, as they were as asphalt. And, and Jason having the, the vision to, to look at RCC uh, was, was a big step for the city. We've been working with CMEX a lot. They've been kind of spearheading trying to get into this market with roller compacted concrete. So we've been relying on them a lot. And then the Cal California Nevada Cement Association has been with us, um, helping us understand some of the new products. Because Roseville, like much of California, is an asphalt roadway community. And so concrete is kind of new for a lot of the engineers. Yeah, my name is Clay Slocum. I'm a uh, pavement engineer with the California Nevada Cement Association. Uh, California Nevada Cement Association is a nonprofit trade association. Uh, our role is to essentially uh, do education, re uh, outreach, uh, disseminate information uh, regarding the, the concrete and cement industry. Um, my role as a pavement engineer is to help bring about projects like this from an owner's side, an agency standpoint, or, or, or consultants. Um, Pretty much, pretty much all of those, uh, as well as helping contractors out. But yeah, so the genesis of this project was uh, really started about four and a half years ago with the city of Roseville, uh, when they expressed the interest to essentially have a more robust, robust paving solution. And uh, I, I think that one's really carried out throughout several of the other agencies. Some of the features of RCC that, that I think a lot of these folks are out here to see are the low maintenance that is in, anticipated with roller compacted concrete. Really looking for something. Uh, the design on this road and, and several of these others is 40 years uh, with expectations that the roadway will uh, far exceed that with some basic preservation techniques. I'm really excited as far as just uh, the introduction of RCC and, and, and JPCP uh, as a solution for a lot of these agencies. We've recently had some, some projects bid. Uh, City of Santa Rosa and Roseville and, and we're, we're really seeing a real upfront cost competitiveness between asphalt design and, and concrete pavement design, and hasn't always been uh, that hasn't always been the truth uh, in, in our area, but uh, it, it is today, and so that makes uh, RTC and, and, and other things really attractive. What what a lot of people might not know about is uh, it's heavily used by ports and uh, and and airports. Um, Port of Long Beach is is the shining example out here in California. Uh, they've had four phases of, of very, very large uh, roller compacted concrete sections um, and it's, uh, it's heavily under consideration for, for some of the other reports. 
Uh, nationwide though, uh, roller compacted concrete got its start in kind of the industrial applications. It, it started in the Northern California area up in, for, for, with the logging industry who really needed a rough and tumble pavement uh, in, in the north for, for their log sorting yards. So over the years and the decades, we've really seen the equipment and the construction practices um, get, the, get the science down to where they can, uh, they, can, they can put it down smoothly for a road. So uh, some other advice I'd have for anyone um, trying out roller compacted concrete for the first time is just be patient with it in the beginning. It's new to this region. It's new to most of the contractors around here. And there'll be a little bit of a learning curve. Um, when we first put down our test panels and our initial paving on Washington Boulevard, it didn't go really well the first day. But by the second day, everything was going smooth. And from there on out, it was pretty straightforward and a quick process.